<laughs> Welcome back. Before we get started, today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. So for this video, I decided to do something a little different. Um, I wanted to bring you guys healthy ways to maintain a good relationship, a strong relationship, a perfect relationship, an extravagant uh, uh, relationship. Perfect relationship. No mm -hmm. relationship is perfect. Yeah, I know. But this, yeah, okay. this person right here is my beautiful wife, my better half. Yeah, what's my name? Deja is her name. And she gonna explain to y'all what we're gonna talk about. Okay, so we're just gonna discuss a few things that we focus on in our relationship to maintain a healthy one. And those things are um, communication and support. We did say trust, but trust is pretty straightforward. You can't have, I mean, that's the foundation to a healthy relationship. So there's really no need to go into that one. But communication and support are the two things that we're gonna discuss. So for the first one, the first thing we'll talk about is communication. I think if we didn't, if there was no communication, then like there wouldn't be a relationship. I think yeah. that's another one of the foundations. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that, that is something that we struggled on in the beginning of our relationship. Yeah. But as time went by, we got better. Because we, we both communicated differently. He may have communicated through um, in-person interactions, and I may have communicator, communicated better through phone interactions and so it was just about finding like meeting in the middle and finding balance and trying to figure out what was the most effective way for us to communicate together um, as a couple and so I think everybody may have a different way of communicating but being able to compromise and meet in the middle to say what is the best way for us to communicate is something that's really important and then practicing that throughout the relationship to make sure that, I mean, we still bump heads sometimes, we may disagree, but communicating and discussing those things, talking about those things is what's so important and it, it helps us maintain a healthy relationship, I think. The next one is support. Um, and this can go like a lot of different ways. Yeah, it can go a lot of different ways. Um, I think we can start out talking about support in terms of like hobbies or, um, like long-term goals um Tyrell and I one of the things that we really focus on for 2021 is writing down our goals not our individual goals but our goals as a couple um and yeah so this is our whiteboard of our goals and this was just an effective way for us to be able to like have a visual um and so yeah, have a visual of what our goals are and what we want to accomplish for the year, not necessarily um, individually, but together. Uh, and so it's just important for you to support your partner because not having that support can really, like, you know, make, put them in a dark a dark place. Make them feel down, yeah. Yeah, they don't make, quite make, have make, any motivation. Yeah, yeah, make them not feel alone with what they're doing. Yeah. And I, I can't say this. This is what I do uh, love about Daisy. She actually do like support everything I, I do. She like support my YouTube thing I got going on. Study for my personal training, personal training test and everything like that. Like I really do appreciate appreciate her for doing that for me. Cause I mean, I have support, but I love to see it come from you know her out. I mean, come from her mouth because she's there with me throughout the whole thing. And I, I really do love it about her. And I also support everything she. I love that about Tyrell because growing up I didn't have the best support system. My support system was primarily my mother. And so in the beginning when he would, you know, verbally support like state his support for me, it kind of like weird because it's like uh, I don't I'm not used to getting like support like people telling me to support me like out of their mouths except for my mom. And so for him to say, well, I mean, if that's what you want to do, I support you like it's kind of like really encouraging and motivating for me, um, especially now with everything that's going on in the world. Um, I'm the kind of person that like hearing it, like yeah, like, yeah. It's that communication that yeah, communication that makes the support system so I don't know so strong and so um, I think I definitely think support is important, um, 
and it's not even about whether or not you always agree with what that person wants to do if they feel like that like if Tyrell feels like something is the best thing for him to do even if I don't you know 100% agree with it I'm going to support him because he sees some good in the outcome of it if that makes any sense so not saying okay for example not saying that I don't agree with him getting certified as a personal trainer because I do 100% but if I didn't I'd say well you know I don't necessarily agree with that 100% but I'm going to support you in that um, and make sure that you know you have the resources that you need and then I'm helping you meet that goal I'm supporting you in that even though I may not agree with your decision to, to do that um, even though I'm, that's just an example I do support him and I agree with him getting certified so So I want to thank you guys for tuning in again, uh, watching one of my videos. I really hope you guys like this. If you if you would like to see more videos like this, just leave a comment. Let me know. We can do more videos like this. Before we leave, 